Imagine waking up to the sound of an inbuilt alarm in your head that turns itself off as soon as your eyes open up after a well-rested night's sleep of seven hours. Imagine then heading for a quick shower in your smart bathroom fitted with AI technology and all the components present in it. Following this, you head to the kitchen to a meal prepared by your assistant robots made out of bioengineered produce growing in labs and not in farms. This is not just the world of 2050, but a stepping stone into the long drawn out future of our world. This is a small glimpse into the kind of life we'll be living and in today's video, we'll be getting into the details of what our life will look like in 2050. First up, personal assistants and robots will be a part of our daily life whether we like it or not. Erika, a humanoid robot, a creation of Hiroshi Ishiguro and Kohei Ogawa, was interviewed by Ben Garrett, an evolutionary biologist, and his observations on his interaction with this robot was surreal. It's just a matter of time before we all have such humanoids in our houses with whom we can interact with and get our work done by. Apart from a physical entity such as robots making our lives simpler, our brains too will be wired differently such that we'll be able to use the mind to turn on the light switches, to switch to a song depending on our mood, and even send messages to other humans instead of doing so using smartphones or any electronic gadgets. Elon Musk's Neuralink's Link version 0.9 is a brain hacking device that has been tested on animals so as to detect neural spikes. It functions as an interface between the human brain and computers. This will only get more advanced by 2050, and millions of people may be comfortable having a chip embedded in their heads that would make their lives easier. Speaking of brain chips and the various abilities they will hold, computers too will be pretty advanced by then. Nanotechnology and quantum computers would be used widely as the world will have more information than one can ever imagine. Nanotechnology will be used in different industries. It will help out massively in the medical industry as it will be used to conduct various operations with the sensors to which it will be attached. This will help by giving out a warning in case of the detection of any anomaly that occurs at any point in time during any procedure. A good example of nanotechnology in medicine is GlaxoSmithKline's electroceuticals which are currently being developed. Nanotechnology will also replace sensors, self-healed structures or surfaces, and even make big data possible by spotting patterns in the system and fixing them as soon as possible. In fact, the world will be so advanced that it will require this technology to function. Apart from this, the smartphones that we use today will be gadget of the past. Gadgets of the future will either be in the form of tiny chips or virtual screens that are projected on one's arms at the click of the button. This would seem like a clip from a science fiction movie, but it's just a matter of a few decades before this becomes a reality. Now let's take a quick look at the transportation industry by 2050. The transportation industry will undergo a massive makeover as companies such as Tesla and many others are switching to using sustainable forms of energy to replace the current use of petroleum-based fuels. Autonomous vehicles will be trending and people will no longer have to get drivers or have to get their driver's license to move from one place to another. The concept of sharing vehicles will also evolve. In fact, one may even be able to lend their car to work for them as a taxi to drop and pick up passengers, thus generating them a good side income. Tesla is already working on making this feature a reality. Traffic may become a thing of the past and reaching your destination in just a few minutes will be possible. With the Hyperloop project well underway, we can expect to travel in capsules even faster than bullet trains to take us between cities in just minutes. Airplanes may also be replaced by SpaceX's Starship as it is faster and can carry people from one country to another more sustainably and efficiently. Traveling all across the world will become quite easy and space travel will be in the new trending industry that everyone will indulge in. Blue Origin and SpaceX are currently working on missions to the Moon and Mars, which by 2050 will become a reality. Around a million people can be expected to start their lives on Mars within the next three decades. There are also plans of having a space hotel, which will take people to space for a span of few weeks or months just to experience life out there in space. Space tourism will be a new type of tourism that many will be spending millions on to be a part of. Back on Earth, infrastructure will also evolve in such a way that mega cities would be built all across the world. Europa City is one great example of the kind of living we'll be having by 2050. These mega cities will also be constructed atop water bodies as the population is growing at a fast rate and accommodation on Earth will slowly start getting more difficult in time. Floating cities are also being constructed as we speak. Oceanic City is one such project that's under work. We previously spoke about how transporting people from one place to another will advance. But transporting goods and cargo will also advance significantly, all thanks to drones and flying vehicles. 
Flying taxis are already being tested, and drones are being used by some big companies to help them out in deliveries. Amazon is one such company that's using drones to conduct deliveries. These flying vehicles are fast and will further increase the speed with which they travel at as well as increase the capacity that they can transport in time. These drones and flying taxis will also have to follow a certain set of traffic rules so as to avoid chaos breaking out. In fact, almost everyone will be able to own a drone, may it be for commercial purposes or just a hobby. Now let's take a quick look at the kind of produce we'll be consuming three decades from now. Currently, we eat the produce grown on farms, but a few decades down the line, most of the food that we shall find in our kitchens would come from a lab as opposed to having been grown organically. The food that we eat will be genetically manufactured with chemicals as the amount of organic food present on Earth may deplete due to the deteriorating climatic conditions. By 2050, the world may shift to a pill-based diet where the pills will be full of the necessary components that the human body needs. This would be quite similar to what astronauts consume when they spend months of their time in space. Apart from what we consume, the lifespan of human beings as well as other living organisms will increase and aging will become a concept of the past. Cryonics will be a major field that will help aid developments in this field. Transplants of various sorts as well as the supply of artificial organs will increase by a large number. It won't be hard to get an organ transplanted into one's body as is the case today. Cloning is another procedure that would commonly occur in the future. Cloning animals is a practice that has already begun, but doing so in the future will become normalized as the demand to feed the growing population will increase and this will be a solution to solve the shortage of meat problem. The biggest change that one will notice in 2050 is the kind of fuel that's being used to run the various activities. The energy used will be sustainable and renewable unlike today's petrol-driven world. Vehicles will run on batteries or liquid biofuels. This change will be needed as the energy needs will double by the year 2050 and with the rate at which petrol-based fuels are getting exhausted, this alternative will be the perfect replacement for the world as well as the environment. Lithium-ion batteries are what is being used now but even they will be replaced by other sources of energy such as solar energy, wind energy, tidal energy, ocean thermal energy, or even geothermal energy based on the geographic location. By 2050, ocean energy is expected to produce 750 gigawatts of energy. This energy can easily supply power to 350 million houses all across the world. Additionally, solar energy will also be used all across the world to power houses, offices, and even cars. Elon Musk's Solar City is already signing contracts with house builders to work towards this sustainable goal. It's just a matter of time before which the majority of the houses will be solar powered. Now, you've had a glimpse into what life in 2050 would be like. Go on and watch our next video to find out how we'll be able to achieve this goal in time. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we can't wait to have you back. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel and push the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you soon!